the wildfire spread across the hillside behind these houses, it was a huge effort to protect them and they managed to keep the flames away. But other communities around the world haven't been so fortunate. I think with climate change, we are seeing a lot more wildfires. Um, it's evident throughout the province. Uh, you know, the fires that we used to get were smaller. Um, they were easier to extinguish. Um, now we're seeing whole communities wiped out. There isn't a corner of the globe where wildfires aren't having an impact. But now developments in technology are bringing hope of earlier detection and prevention. And here in British Columbia, there's no shortage of startups joining the race to create them. Uh, we can detect fire at smoldering phase, so without anybody seeing it, uh, anybody smelling it, um, typically within three minutes. It's a bold claim, but SenseNet have now deployed more than 2,000 of their devices to test it out. These sensors can detect about 20 different types of gases. We put them around half a kilometre to one kilometre apart. So let's put the sensors to the test. We've got some located all around us. We're going to set the spin on fire. Yeah, let's do it. How long before it appears in the control room as a fire? Very quick, we only have 30 seconds to one minute. We better go inside then. Let's go. So this map shows the sensors that we've placed outside. Exactly. So we did the fire right in the middle here. We have um, sensors, uh, these green ones, they were all green first, but then we have the two sensors that are in red. Those are the two sensors that detected the fire. Um, so that was the first one, that was the second one, that was the third one. When the alarm goes off, a camera automatically turns to the sensor to check for visible signs of fire and back up what has been detected. The alarm's going off and that's less than a minute. Okay, perfect. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we did it. The devices run on battery, which should last more than five years, and connect to each other to relay the alarm back to control. That means they have real potential in remote areas and are now being deployed not only in Canada, but also Chile, Brazil and California. So with the fire detected, how do you put it out? Startup Firesworm are developing drones that could be capable of lifting enough water to stop flames. But for now, helicopters are doing this job. Most helicopters are old legacy aircraft. Vox Vision helps bring some of the latest tech onto these older aircraft platforms. Vox Vision has up to 10 cameras on it. We've got a, a set across the front here that are used for real-time situational awareness, uh, looking down and out and forward. We've got a, a telephoto camera for doing long distance analysis. At the back, there are some high-resolution mapping cameras that can do multi-spectral imaging near infrared that helps us see things like the moisture in the ground and helps us with forest fuel classification, where it might burn, where it's less likely to burn. The device works a bit like a co-pilot for those operating the helicopter, providing information about where the fire is spreading and how effective each water drop has been. A lot of technology is moving in the direction of drones. Why not just send a drone up to gather all this information? Drones aren't able to fly in the same air space as helicopters are operating. We have to pause firefighting activity. Uh, another reason why we have an advantage over drones is a helicopter has quite a powerful electrical system. And so we're able to draw enough electrical power to run advanced AI uh, algorithms on our computer and provide information in real time or near real time to the pilot or ground uh, decision makers. Vox Vision is currently going through testing by regulators with hope it could be fitted on firefighting helicopters soon. There are challenges to tackling this global problem with tech. For one, solutions don't always work in every environment. But there are also frustrations about investment in the sector. The biggest challenge we have is uh, the mindset. You know, a lot of what gets into the budgets, which are written about a year in advance, is more in, in wildfire uh, landscape, is, is in uh, fighting the fire, not so much on the detection. 
Um, so we need, we need insurance companies to step in, we need the governments to step in. For now, wildfires are a challenge that aren't going away. Fires aren't quick to put out, wildfires. I don't sleep a lot at night when it's 30 degrees out and 30% humidity and, and you know the winds that we get uh, help propagate those fires so our crews work very hard. It can be taxing on, on those crews when they're out for days on end.